Now with coronavirus impacting your job at the moment. I work in the hotel industry. My hotel has lost hundreds of thousands. I work in the hotel industry. My hotel has lost hundreds of thousands of dollars of revenue between cancellations of leisure travel and business travel. We've seen cancellations all the way through June slash July. We were tracking for a huge Q1, but now everything is up in the air. We are having to shuffle labor so some of our hourly staff is losing shifts since we don't have the occupancy in the building to justify having the full staff in house. It's a really scary time in my industry. All of the revenue managers in the city are having a collective panic attack. Hotel industry in Seattle. There's been confirmed cases as close as two blocks away from us. We dropped from 40% occupancy to 20% and we've also lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue, not only because of cancellations, but also because our corporate office has instructed us to refund prepaid reservations that are being cancelled due to the virus. If our occupancy stays this low, it's possible some of us might be laid off. I was living in Shanghai with a great job and a great apartment. I visited a friend for a last minute vacation in Taiwan when the virus hit China really bad. My job shut down, and I was told not to come back to the country. They stopped paying me salary and housing stipend, even though it's illegal, and I've been stuck in Taiwan ever since trying to start a new life. I essentially lost all my stuff as I couldn't pay for the apartment anymore. Need to resort to teaching English, temporarily. To survive here. No end in sight, and not sure what my future holds. It's a scary time, and has been a rough month. I went on holiday to Asia and my boss told me not to come to work for three weeks. Even though financially I'm screwed these three weeks have been bloody marvelous. I work for Starbucks. We are no longer making drinks in personal cups and we have a timer set for every 30 minutes. To tell everyone to wash their hands. I'm a nanny in Seattle. Both parents are working from home, so the house has been chaos. I can't take the little one to all the usual activities, so he's getting cabin fever. Bright side, my hour commute has been reduced to 35 minutes because everyone else is working from home and there's no traffic. Honestly all we have is some more signs on the wall telling people to hand wash and a few sanitizing stations set up by doorways. The only other place I've noticed its effect in my town is the local bulk barn isn't letting people bring their own containers, which is one of the biggest points of shopping there. Seems a bit useless as well when every customer has to use the same metal scoop to fill up their product bags anyway. My dad is having a hard time cause he works in the airport, and because of lot travel numbers they are removing overtime pay. My ex-husband works at an airport. I deeply appreciate the fact that he doesn't come into my house anymore. I'm immunocompromised. When he drops off the kid, he just parks in the driveway and tells son to go inside and wash his hands. When we have to talk, we do it on the phone. He doesn't want any airport related cooters to get on me. I work as a restaurant server in two different casinos. We get a lot of traffic from states with confirmed outbreaks, but since it's a kitchen slash food environment it's basically just make sure you're washing your hands and following the safety guidelines you should be following every day anyways, and please don't come in sick, which you shouldn't do anyways. I work retail. We're out of paper towels, wet wipes, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and water. We are also quickly running out of baby food, canned goods, cereals, and bleach. I've also had some old boomer tell me she hopes I catch coronavirus and die because I couldn't magically pull a bottle of Germex out of my ass for her to buy. Aussie in retail here. Can confirm the toilet paper crisis is serious. People are angry and scared and are wishing horrible things on me. My boss's girlfriend works as a travel agent. He says usually in February they do around a million in sales. This year they barely did 500k. 
I'm actually surprised they got that much to be honest. We now have a daily janitorial team whose hash one priority is disinfecting door handles, water fountains, keyboards, screens, basically anything people touch a lot. Also if you have it, or a family member has it, but you don't have the sick time for it then sick time will be given to you. Also all travel and large gatherings are cancelled through the end of the month. The last one is kinda disappointing, because there were events planned, but health safety is definitely more important. I work in healthcare in an area that's had an outbreak. It is certain I will be getting the virus. Just a matter of when. I'm so sorry. Thank you for putting yourself at risk to care for others. My heart breaks for all of those affected. My boss has a paranoid personality and has been talking more about coronavirus. He's been offering us some weird holistic medicine, which I get has good intentions, but it's kind of funny how worried he is. I'm terrified to go to work. I work retail. We have hundreds of people coming in and out every day. People sneeze and cough and don't even attempt to cover their mouths. And if I say anything to them, I could get in trouble. I had to have someone in produce pull a bunch of apples the other day because there was a kid just standing there coughing on them and his parents just let him. And we can't use doctor's notes as excuses. If we get sick, we have to come in or risk losing our jobs. I hate this company. Holy shit is it annoying. I work in the hour industry and all I've done this week is write articles, blog posts, and emails about how to treat your employees during the pandemic and what your policies should look like. I love that my company is providing good and helpful guidance for people, but boy howdy am I ready to be done talking about it. Exhibitions and Events Project Manager Life is real tough now, most events and exhibitions have been postponed or cancelled where I'm from. The whole industry is badly hit. My company has people taking 1-5 to five days of unpaid leave a week to keep stuff going. And yes 5 days unpaid a week which literally means zero salary. Screwed up. I teach at a school and we've received notices from superintendent's offices to what precautions to take and to stay home if you're running a temperature. We are also getting disinfectant bottles and hand sanitizer, though obviously in short supply at the moment. I think it's been mentioned, but to reiterate, the concern is for those who are immunocompromised, as well as those at either extreme of the age spectrum. Taking basic simple precautions will go a long way, in my opinion. Just because it isn't the plague, or SARS doesn't mean it can't slash won't affect you, or those you love. Don't freak out, but don't act like it's nothing. Just be mindful, and take sensible steps to ensure you're safe, as well as others. Honestly, if I found out I had it, but didn't heed any of the warnings, or went about my day without a concern, and then heard that one of my students grandparents or infant sibling had contracted it and was fighting for their lives, I'd be devastated. I work at a Chinese restaurant. Most of the staff, myself included, are not Chinese, but we have been targeted in a couple incidents. Someone sprayed pepper spray in the bathrooms and everyone had to evacuate as an example since the new year and have less than half the customers we did before. I'm one of three doctors that own a practice in the US. We had a meeting to determine that if we shut down for weeks when this gets to our section of the Midwest, do we pay the employees? We all decided yes, so we are all putting more money in savings. So our 34 employees still get full pay relief even if we close. If we close, no inflow of money to the practice, so the money has to come from somewhere. So much for getting ahead on my student loans, but I'm pretty sure 2-3 two to three weeks of no pay will hurt my staff more than it would hurt me. I bet the local hospital will just screw over their staff and send them home without pay. I'm a dietary manager at a nursing home. Was told to order extra supplies, hand sanitizer, face masks, 
gloves, in case the shortage gets worse. There are signs posted at the doors asking visitors to stay away if they are ill. I called off work because I'm having classic flu symptoms including a horrible cough and a fever of 101 plus and my boss is giving me shit about it because what if the other cook quits because she's overworked? So I'm loving that hypocrisy. I work in the concrete industry. And we use respirators on a daily basis for cleaning mixers or grinding concrete. I'm down to my last box of N95 respirators. And can't find them anywhere. Told my guys they better start reusing. Edit. To everyone concerned about my employees reusing these masks. They use them on a pretty limited basis 60 to 90 minutes a day. Most of the time they are perfectly fine when they are done and nowhere near the end of usability. Usually they end up in the garbage or thrown down with some gloves looking like they are barely used. I told them all to use them sparingly and when needed and to hang them when done and use them as long as they are usable. I'm not asking them to use masks that you can't even pull air through but thanks for the concern on their behalf. Flight attendant. It's not going well at all. Hiring freezes, and now at the main carriers, they are actually looking for volunteers to take six months off unpaid leave. <coughs> Professional speaker in Europe. Conference is being cancelled all over the place. I've only lost two so far, but I'm waiting to see how many more companies decide to cancel. In many cases these are probably postponements and I'll get the work eventually. Many of my colleagues are in full panic mode. We are all self-employed. It is exposing the divide between people with high monthly overheads and low savings and people, like me, with deliberately low costs and high savings. I can afford to shrug and take personal time for a few months until things stabilize. Apparently the movie industry is going to lose a ton of money due to the virus, especially in areas where the virus hits hard. The theater chain I work for is already filing for bankruptcy, and if it hits our area it could kill any chance of us recovering from it. Not necessarily my job, but my school. I'm 17 and I go to high school in Washington state. There's been a lot of schools shutting down around us because of concerns or cleaning. We've been pushing through it. First case in our tiny town just got confirmed. It's definitely weird, seeing our tight-knit community on the headlines of CNN. We've had letters, sent home on COVID-19 and my astronomy teacher has been updating us every day, as his wife is an emergency room nurse. I know we'll shut down eventually, but it's just a matter of when. The atmosphere at school is a lot more subdued now. Everyone is being more cautious. Quite a few aren't even showing up anymore. It's just weird. <coughs> Workers at a tour. Just visited five drug stores to get one bottle of rubbing alcohol. No rubbing alcohol, no work. <coughs> I work in publishing. A lot of product in the industry, especially kids stuff, is made in China or Korea, which means shipments are being delayed more and more often. We are also heading into conference season, but conferences all over are being cancelled or postponed, which seriously limits the industry networking and eyes on new books. Sucks for publishers, sucks for agents trying to sell books, sucks for potential authors who can't meet with anyone etc. It's weird to think that a virus affects your bookshelf, but turns out, it might. I work at a hospital in Indiana. We got our first confirmed case today. So starting Monday all entrances are closed besides the ER and another registration area. They will have 24 over 7 staffing at the doors consisting of two clinical people and two police officers. Every person that wants to enter the building has to be screened for symptoms. I work IT and travel between a few buildings. So it'll just make my wait even longer. Street got me like